Attention viewer, you are watching the world's biggest Monster Truck Diecast YouTube channel. This is Monster Jam OCD. Well, hello everyone and welcome back to another Monster Jam OC before the show for review video. Today we are taking a look at the Mix 2 Zombie vs. Hunters double packs for Walmart. And these are actually coming out before the Mix 2 singles packs for the Zombie Invasion singles. And you will see that review video of Mix 2 later this year, closer to November, because those come out in November while these come out in August. I'm not sure why there's such a big gap between the two actual series being in stores but there is although due to store delays COVID-19 all that stuff you possibly will see these more towards November as well uh just because they don't really always follow schedule especially when it comes to Fire and Ice and Zombie vs Hunters but regardless of that this is the last assortment for the Zombie vs Hunters packs and as I've mentioned I'll keep mentioning it so people understand these double packs the double packs are the only packs that have the hunter trucks so these are the last two hunter trucks that we will ever have I believe these are the last ones I don't think there's going to be a mix three of either the singles or the double packs so they decided to make all the single packs all eight single packs zombies and then four more zombies in the doubles, and only make four surviving trucks. Soldier Fortune, as you see here, and the next reveal, the last one, which is the Max D. So we'll take a look at those up close in just a moment. And before we start, I just want to kind of briefly look at the packaging. As you can see, this one comes with Zombie versus Soldier Fortune, and then we have Monster Mutt Dalmatian versus Max D. We're going to start with Soldier Fortune versus Zombie. I feel like this is the least favorite of the packs, for me at least. Um, not because they're not good trucks. I love this Soldier Fortune, don't get me wrong. But the Zombie's a little disappointing to me. I'll explain why in just a moment. But here's the back of the box here with the same stuff for this assortment. And we're going to unbox it right now. Okay, here is the Zombie Invasion doubles. I'm sorry, Zombie vs. Hunters doubles. Uh, mixed to the last assortment, as you can see here, the logos. Zombie is the same logo, but Soldier Fortune is a tarnished looking uh, version of the logo. Very nice. And there it is, the Hunter, Soldier Fortune. Whoops, not zoomed in or not focused. There we go. Uh, so here they are, the zombie. So zombie doesn't have much different about it. That's something I'll talk about in just a moment. Um, but I guess we'll just start with it now. So as you can see, zombie is very similar to that of other releases we've had. This is actually a better release that you'll see soon on my channel as well. Um, a much cleaner release, but it's the same exact face as we've had coming out during this year. The only difference is that they've added some goo coming out of the face here, some blood spots that aren't on the original model, some more goo up here, and then uh, nothing on the tailgate and nothing on this side besides the same goo pattern. So I'm not sure why in a zombie versus hunters double packs or zombie invasion singles or anything to do with zombie, they made zombie so plain. Uh, it seems like that should be the truck that would really be the team captain here. Uh, but they kept it really plain. I'm not sure why that is. I think they could have done better, maybe even replaced Zombie with something else. But people were asking if Zombie's going to be in these Zombie versus Hunters or Zombie Invasions. And it is, but it's just not, it's not very exciting at all. It's pretty, really bland. So it's probably my least favorite one um, next to Blue Thunder. Both of them are kind of on the low for my personal list. But yeah, Zombie, nothing too exciting about it. It does have the function arms. It has the green windshield, uh, obviously the goo and stuff with the blood. And then we have the green roll cage with a black chassis and red rims with those uh, standard Zombie invasion tires. So there it is, Zombie kind of getting out of the way. And now on to the actual one that makes a lot more sense to have in here, which is the Hunter Soldier Fortune. So we have a military style vehicle with a Hunter look, which is of course rusty, beat up, kind of put together quickly, junkyard theme. It's my favorite thing they've done, especially uh, because I love the junkyard theme trucks. So we have the junkyard soldier fortune or the hunter soldier fortune. We've also had obviously normal soldier fortune many times released before. And you can see the differences are night and day. Uh, there's a lot of rust on this soldier fortune here. Uh, some barbed wire across the sides, the roof here made up of several different panels, uh, more barbed wire across the hood and the grill is also rusted out. And then this side here, same stuff going on. And the tailgate, I love the tailgate, covered in uh, barbed wire. The lights have been broken out and uh, just an overall beautiful piece. And then it has the standard Hunter chassis. They did not change up the Hunter chassis at all this year, which is okay because I think that the zombies have a different personality than the Hunters anyway. So there is the Hunter Soldier Fortune for the 2020 double packs for Mix 2. Just an amazing piece. I really enjoy Soldier Fortune. 
And now we're moving on to the last pack here, which is the Monster Mutt Dalmatian versus Max D. And I actually wanted to briefly mention something before we continue on. I forgot to mention uh, there was, as you guys know, a Soldier Forge in Ice. So they are continuing that tradition of having that truck in the um, thematic series. So we have Soldier Fortune yet again with Soldier Fortune Ice. And Zombie did have a Fire Zombie, but since this is not really a zombified zombie, uh, there is no point to compare it, but that did have a Fire Zombie in Fire and Ice. And now on to this pack, which is the last focus of this video, the Monster Mutt Dalmatian Zombie versus Max D Hunter. And Max D Hunter might be my favorite Hunter truck that they've actually produced. So let's unbox it. Here's the back of the box, just with those guys. And let's check it out. Okay, here they are, the two final Zombie vs. Hunter pack trucks, Max D and Monster Mutt Dalmatian, very similar to that pack that we had last year, which was, of course, the first pack with Max D Fire, the Monster Mutt Dalmatian Ice vs. Max D Fire. And that was really cool to have those because Max D Fire was actually the team captain of Team Fire. Um, I'm not sure if there's going to be an all-star challenge or team captains or whatnot, but hopefully uh, Tom Mentz will lead the charge with the Hunter uh, Max D if that ever happens. So there's the Max D logo tarnished with some oil on it. And there's the zombified, chipped up, bloody, gooey Monster with Dalmatian logo right there. And we know this already, just to do a quick comparison again. We've had regular Max D many times in the past. So you can see the rustified version of that with the Maximus face sticking off the side. And overall, just a beautiful truck with a matte clear coat. I love it. And then we have, like I just showed you guys on screen, the Max D uh, Fire from the Team Fire from the Fire Nice series. So now we have another Max D thematic, which is really nice. And then um, before I continue on, I just want to show you guys real quick to get the comparisons out of the way. We have the Monster Mutt Dalmatian Zombie. Uh, the one thing I'm waiting for Spin Master to keep doing is using these teeth, this teeth pattern here for the actual Monster Mutt Dalmatian. The Monster Mutt Dalmatian Ice actually had the same teeth pattern. You can see the difference is very clear. These are too detailed. They're supposed to be these smooth teeth like the real truck. So hopefully one day we'll get a normal Dalmatian with these kinds of teeth. But I like that they continue to do that with the zombies as, as well. So there's Dalmatian Ice. We've seen that many times before. Obviously Cynthia Gautier flying out of Sam Boyd Stadium with her truck. And hopefully maybe she'll drive this one. What a nice truck. I really enjoy this one. I love um, the detail that they do with the spots always. Last time it was snowballs. This time it's these wounds, but they're spots, which is just super cool. You can see there's some goo on the roof, just bloody spots, cracking skin. Uh, just a green truck. Looks really cool with the Dalmatian scheme. Monster with Dalmatian in yellow on the tag with the blood. A yellow tail, yellow ears in motion, uh, yellow eyebrows, kind of a furling area up here with the the skin kind of wrinkling because like it's smiling and then we have the spots some more wrinkles of the windshield area uh, some more yellow goo a yellow nose um, the whisker dots are also wounds and then we have a yellow tongue with a green windshield and then here's this side the teeth are chipped up bloody uh, the mouth is cracking around the lips really cool dark red uh, collar no collar stones are visible and then we have a bloody logo and this side here Less cracked teeth, but more detail, as you can see. And then uh, that's about it. So there's that side. Then the green roll cage, black chassis, green rims, and the uh, zombie tires. And that will conclude the Monster Mutt Dalmatian. So what a nice piece. I mean, it's probably one of the better ones, I must say. Although this whole series is really good. I love the Dalmatian. Although I must say, and, and you'll see it soon, the Monster Mutt Rottweiler is my favorite one. But Dalmatian is super cool. And then we have the Hunter Max D, my favorite Hunter truck. Um, this one's a little blurry. Hopefully they'll correct it before production begins. Um, these are actually chain links coming down the top and crossing to make the flame pattern. Um, they're just impossible to see because the graphics quality on this specific unit is terrible. Hopefully you can make out the chains coming down the roof and back to the back here, meeting up at the back. And we have yellow taillights, which is unusual, orange and yellow taillights with this Monstrum logo. The spikes are rusted out, the fenders and everything. Uh, the Max D 12 time champion is covered up by the chains, but it's still kind of there. We have the Tom Mentz logo or name placard. And then we have the Max D logo, the Maximus face in rusted form with the orange still peering through, but not as strong. And then I love this detail, such a nice detail. One headlight is broken and one headlight is functioning still. I wish they would have done that with the Hunter Son of a Digger, although they did a great job with that. The detail of that is just so awesome. And then the chains, as you can see, they're coming down right here into the front. And here's this side, just some more rust with the Tom Mentz and stuff right there. So what an amazing piece. I love this truck and hopefully it'll become a real truck in the future. 
Uh, we also have the standard Hunter chassis with the brown roll cage, black chassis, uh, brown rims, and the oil splattered gray tires. So that is the end of the Hunters and the Zombies. It has been a great series. The thematic series are just going to keep getting better from here. And I can't wait to show you guys what they have planned. It's going to be insane what they have next year. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you to Team Spinmaster for supplying these as always. So please comment below. Let us know what you guys think about these trucks in the comments. And I will check it out myself. I will see you guys next time. This is Reiner Moss, Jim OCD, signing out.